One of the new features in Graphical Analysis Pro is the ability to sync data from sensors to video. And I'd like to show you how to do this. And why would you want to? Well, imagine that uh, you are going to collect some data that you would like to share with your students. Maybe it's an experiment that is that takes too much time to do in the classroom, and so you want to be able to, to share that. Uh, or maybe your students uh, would actually record a video of an experiment they do, and they can sync it together as kind of a part of their presentation of the experiment they did. So I'd like to show you how to do this. So I'm going to collect data with a couple of different sensors and while collecting video simultaneously. And I have a little setup here that I've done where I've got a, a GoDirect a gas pressure sensor with a syringe on it. And then I have a, a GoDirect force sensor. And I'm going to press against the syringe with the force sensor, measure the pressure and the force simultaneously while recording a video. So up here, I have my cell phone and it's aimed straight down over the, the uh, ledge there. And so I'll be recording the video uh, as I collect the data. So that's what we're gonna do. And what you see is graphical analysis and I have not attached any sensors yet. Now I've turned the sensors on and I'm gonna be using this, uh, these sensors via Bluetooth. So I'll come up here where it says untitled, a new experiment, sensor data collection. And those sensors should show up in the list. There they are. So I've got uh, go direct force there. And uh, so I will connect to that one. And it's a multiple uh, channel sensor, but I just want force, so I'll just leave it like that. And then I'm going to connect the gas pressure sensor there. Um, and I will say done. So uh, the top graph is force, the bottom graph is pressure. And let's do this. I will make this a little easier to see. Okay. Uh, and now down in the lower right corner, you have the meters. And one of the things that I want to do here is this. One, I want to zero the force sensor. Um, so it reads zero when there's no force on it. The other thing that I want to do is I want to reverse the direction. The default for the force sensor is a pull is positive, a push is negative. But I'm going to be pushing against it. So I really want it to read a positive value of force so that the increase in force causes an increase in pressure. Now, um, time-wise, uh, down here in the lower left-hand corner, um, it's probably okay to do the default for five seconds. Uh, so I think I'll stick with that and 50 samples per second will be okay. So that's all good. So at this point, what I need to do is I'm going to start the collection on the phone. So I'll start a video and then I will start to uh, collect on Graphical Analysis Pro, collect the data and then go through the process of syncing the two things together. So let me go here. my video started, then I'm going to hit collect and then press against sensors there. Uh, at this point, we see the, um, the graph there on the top. Again, it's force and then the pressure. It's kind of interesting that, uh, and I felt this, is that the syringe didn't really let go at first. It kind of uh, there was a little bit of a, a lag there, so you know, I didn't get a change in pressure here uh, when I was getting a force. And then once it kind of let go, it started sliding there. So at this point, I've got the, uh, the data that I need sensor-wise, but what I want to do is to be able to uh, insert that video. I have the video on the phone at this point, and I'm actually going to edit it down a little bit because I hit record on the phone before I actually hit collect on Graphical Analysis Pro. So the video is actually kind of long. And what I need to know is I need to know a point in time on the data set that matches a point in time on the video. And for this particular set, it's going to be when I started pressing. So as soon as I press, at that instant, the force went up and I can match that on the video and, and sync the two things together. So I will, first thing I'm going to do is probably edit down my video link so it's not as, as long and then be able to, uh, to insert it. So I shortened up my video 
And now I'm just going to send it to myself so that I'll have it on the computer. And then I can uh, insert it into the Graph Analysis Pro. At this point, what I want to do is I want to come up here to the, this part of the screen and I want to say video. And it says import video. And uh, so if I go here and say import video, it asks me to go and find which one it is. Well, I threw it on the desktop, so it's right here on the top. Uh, what we see is on the right hand side, there's the video um, and I can do this. I could come here and I could just play back just the video there. Or if I want to sync this to the data, what I need to do is, I, again, I need to know something about the time on the, the video here. So let me back up and I want to just step forward just a little bit. And so right at this instant, at 1.69 seconds is when I start to press on the syringe. And in fact, uh, you can actually see that on the data set there. So you can see that's when, so I see 1.69 seconds uh, on there and it's right with uh, that part of the screen there. And that actually just kind of an accident that those two timings are the same. Um, and uh, so I need to do this. I'm gonna go up to the upper right corner here and enable replay. And if I just do replay right now, what's going to happen is it will just replay the data set. So there you're seeing the data replay. But if I want to sync the video, I go up here to the upper left corner, click there, and tell it that I want to sync that. And what I need to do is I know that the video time of 1.69 seconds matches, I'm gonna come here with my examine function and it's right when I started to press there, maybe 160, there's a little bit of, I think maybe 164. Um, so I'm gonna do that as 1.64 seconds. And if I do that, now what will happen is when I do the replay, it replays both the video and the sensor data together. Well, that's an interesting feature. So you can imagine again, that students might be using this to write lab reports and be able to share what they did, or you want to be able to uh, share an experiment with them. Now, another thing that we can do um, is that I could, if I had multiple data sets, I can display more than one set of data if I want to. I just have one here. Uh, this box actually allows you to determine what the playback speed is. Now, the default for this one was in real time, 1x, but if I did it, maybe it's going twice as fast, then what it does is it replays it twice as fast. For this video that does not really required, but if you did something maybe where you had a time lapse video going, then you might want to replay it at faster than real speed. So the video capability is quite interesting and there are many, many uses for it. Uh, I would encourage you to explore this feature in Graphical Analysis Pro yourself. If you don't already have Graphical Analysis Pro, you can download a free 30-day trial from Vernier.com. It's fully functional and give it a try yourself. And basically all you need is a way to be able to record a video, uh, record some sensor data, and then sync the two things together.